There are a lot of ways to look at forests. They are a breathing ecosystem. They are a valuable renewable resource. They're part of our history. They're where we go to unwind. We have not always seen eye to eye when it comes to how we manage our forests, but that's changing. In some communities, individuals and agencies are working together to create a new vision for the future of Oregon's forests. Decades of disagreement between different factions or interest groups has left us with a force that is out of whack with its original state. I think the situation that we're seeing in some of our forests in Central Oregon, our lower elevation ponderosa pine and our dry mix conifer is one of too many small trees together and creates a real hazard for wildfires. The forests of Central Oregon are adapted to fire. So fires burn through every five to 25 years and kept the forest healthy and resilient. What's happened over the last hundred years or so, without that fire, they filled in with small trees, shrubs, a lot of fuels that mean that they're at risk of high severity fire. Really every community in Deschutes County it is adjacent to one of these forests that's overstocked and really at risk uh, from a wildfire standpoint and even forests further out from our communities. Well, in the past, when the Forest Service was designing vegetation management projects out in the forest, a lot of times we met in the courtroom. We found out that that really didn't lead to outcomes that we were looking for, so we decided uh, a new approach was warranted. And so what I did on this side is... The Deschutes Collaborative formed as a way to solve some of the intractable problems that were preventing any uh, meaningful work from getting done. The Collaborative, uh, they're a diverse group of stakeholders and their mission is to get together and recommend treatments that everyone can agree on. Steadily over time people came more and more to consensus and develop projects to jointly deal with this forest health crisis that we have. A great example of the work we've done with the Forest Collaborative is where we're standing right now. This is the Fields Trail Complex in the West Bend project. It's highly used recreational spots and it's the intersection of all these values that we're trying to deal with. The recreational value, the logging value because the loggers do the restoration work and there's some commercial value that comes out of that and the wild and urban interface which goes right to the fire safety for the town of Bend. The collaborative has developed dry forest recommendations which allow us to go in and remove larger trees those have economic value. It also allows us to remove smaller trees. They don't necessarily have a real big economic value, but they, they contribute to fire hazard in a big way. And so to get those out of the woods and get those treated is a huge benefit. With 450,000 acres of restoration needed on the Deschutes alone, it's really important that we figure out how to scale up our restoration efforts, and that's going to mean creating a lot of restoration byproducts, both material that can go to the mill as well as material that doesn't have a home yet. These projects cost money, and every year the Forest Service and the other federal land agencies have less money to work with. Ideally, we would have a market, we'd be able to utilize all the products that are coming out of this restoration work. Utilizing some of the small trees that would typically go in a slash pile and, and be burned. So these are things like firewood, posts and poles, uh, pellets for uh, heating, or even just wood chips that could be used for a variety of things, including uh, biomass heating or energy production. I think there's a lot of opportunity to have a new relationship to our forests to appreciate fire and its natural role in the ecosystem and respect the management that's happening to help get that forest in a place where it can be resilient to fire, to appreciate the products that come out of forest restoration. For every dollar that we generate here locally, it circulates and creates other jobs. So there's an enormous opportunity here. Well, it's critically important that our science continues to guide forest restoration efforts going forward. If this is science-based restoration, based on our understanding of how these fire-adapted ecosystems evolve and what they need to be resilient and healthy again to future fire, to climate change, to drought, that should be the driving force of future restoration efforts in Central Oregon. We're solving a lot of problems moving forward. Safety, 
for the community and reduce fire risk, improved economics and utilization of the material, and improved ecology on the forest itself. How was the forest before everybody came here and mucked it up? And we'll never get it completely back there, but we can get it in that direction a long ways and it'll be a better forest for everybody.